Hello everyone, welcome back to Need Crow Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make an easy crochet cow. This cow is very easy to make and it works out very fast. It took me about 30 minutes and it's great for gift as well. I have free written pattern, it's available on our blog at needcrowaddict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Here's the material that I use for this project. I use Line Brand Ruiz Thick and Quick. This is number 6 Super Bulky Yarn. In each ball, it has 106 yards or 97 meters. And I use about 100 yards for this project. And this one in color, gray marble. You can substitute yarn as well, just look for Number six, super bulky yarn, and I highly recommend using this yarn, and it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> and crochet hook size ten millimeter. You need scissors and yarn needle as well. Okay, for this project, it's multiple of four chains. Okay, and the chain when we start gonna be the circumference of the cow. We are gonna crochet in round. Okay, if you want bigger or smaller, you can do that as well. Just make sure you have a multiple of four chains. If you don't know what is multiple of four, so you're gonna make four chain, four chain, four chain, four chain, four chain. That's it. And then join the round. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna make 44 chains. That is multiple of four chains. Okay, first make slip knot, insert the hoop in there, and then I'm gonna make 44 chains. Here's one. Two, three, four, five. I have 44 chain here. And next, we're gonna join in a round. So we're gonna make slip stitch into the first chain that we did right here. But make sure your chain is not twisted. Okay. And then slip stitch into the first chain there. Insert the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. That is slip stitch. And then round one, we're gonna chain three. Count as one double crochet. And then into that same chain, you're gonna make two double crochet in there. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain. That be slip stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That is the double crochet. And make one more double crochet into the same stitch. Same chain, I mean. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So, include the first three chain. You have three double crochet into the same chain, okay? And then next, chain one. And skip three chain. And into the next chain, you're gonna make three double crochet in there. So, after I chain one, I skip one, two, and three. Into the next chain, make three double crochet. That's one, two, and three. And you're gonna repeat that around. So you're gonna chain one, skip three chain, one, two, and three. Into the next chain, make three double crochet. one two and three and repeat that chain one skip three chain one two three into the next chain make three double crochet all right you're gonna repeat that around you're gonna chain one skip three chain and then make three double crochet into the next chain repeat that around until you have three chain left and I will be back. Okay, now I have three chain left at the end of round one. And to finish round one, you're gonna chain one and slip stitch into the third chain. See, this is the third chain when we start, okay? After you chain one, insert the hook into that third chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop and pull it through, like that. Here's what it looks like at the end of round one. And I have 11 groups of the double crochet. 
okay so the three double crochet into the same chain count as one group so this is one group here's two here's three here's four like that i have 11 groups just in case if you want to know so yeah anyways for row two you're gonna chain three one two three and now you're gonna turn okay we crochet in round but we kind of like turn back and forth because i want the outside and the inside uh, reversible so you can wear either side okay so yeah after I chain three and turn I gonna make two double crochet into that chain one space the chain three count as one double crochet always okay and then chain one and make three double crochet into the next chain one space chain one three double crochet into the next chain one space you're gonna keep repeating this around okay chain one three double crochet into the next chain one space oops very easy pattern all right next you're gonna chain one and make three double crochet into the next one chain space and keep repeating that around and i will be back when i'm at the end of round two i'm at the end of round two here and to finish round two you're gonna chain one and slip stitch into the third chain insert the hook into the third chain yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through okay and at the end of round two, I have the same. I have 11 groups of the double crochet because we not increase or decrease. And from now on, you're just gonna keep repeating round two. Very easy pattern. So for me, I gonna keep repeating round two until I reach round 10, okay? Don't worry, I gonna show you one more round, which is round three. So you chain three, always count as one double crochet and then turn okay and make two double crochet into chain one space here or you can turn first and chain here as well doesn't matter chain one three double crochet into the next chain one space chain one three double crochet into the next chain one space repeat that around chain one three double crochet into the next chain one space okay keep repeating that you're gonna chain one three double crochet into the next chain one space and i will be back when i'm at the end of round three here I'm at the end of round three here and to finish round three we're gonna do the same we chain one and slip stitch into the third chain like that all right that's it just keep repeating round two so you chain three and turn like that and make two double crochet into the chain one space Okay, chain one, three double crochet into the next chain one space. Okay, I gonna keep repeating round two until I reach the end of round 10 and I will be back. Good luck. I'm at the end of round 10 here and next I just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end. This is the yarn that I have left. I try to go one more round, but it's not enough. So I think 10 rounds is perfect too. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. And I'm gonna cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end. And pull the yarn out and weave the end. I bring my yarn needle here, insert the tail in there, and gonna weave the end.
Okay, keep weaving the end and make sure it's secure and then you trim the tail and you're done. And you're gonna weave this end as well when we start it. And that's it. Easy peasy. Congratulations! I hope you enjoyed making this project. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. I want to know what color are you making. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at NitCrawAddict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye!